Making a diagonal support. Okay. Score our lines. Three. It's really important to line that up straight when you're doing that because all of those mean something. The straighter you score, the straighter it folds, the straighter it folds, the some more symmetrical your rectangular prismatic supports are. Now, before we uh, actually even uh, tape this up, let's come along back and go snip, snip, and if we go like this, in fact, I know this is almost overkill, but why not do things correctly? Hey, what a novel concept. You have the opportunity to do something correctly and you don't do it? Foolish. Okay, now that we've made our cuts, I want that to disappear. That's my glue side. There we go. Line it up. Press a bit of tight. See what's cool is the glue stick really is what's gonna hold this thing together. And then my special press. So now, see this will fold like that. This will fold over like this. This will fold over like that. That will fold over like that. Then when you have your base, you can slide this, and there we are. That's, and this would of course be cut and taped down that way, but that's how it attaches to the base. If we were using this up above the base, you're not gonna fold those. You're gonna leave that straight, just like this is. You want these to be mirrored, and so it would look like that. And that way, you could connect it like that, and that, and there you go. So, and then make it so that, again, do your precise little detail cuts. Don't leave gaps. Try and keep that, let's see, that looks snappy and sharp. That doesn't look as good as that. So take your time, little detail cuts to fit it to perfection, and then tape it up. And if you wanted, you could even use a little glue stick there and there. And we're off. Next, next class.